Hello guys, it's Angelina Dima from Okenshi World and today we are doing another exciting trail in Puchkampana area in Alicante province. It will be our third trail here because we love the area so much and feel like it's a very nice place to practice trekking close to Mediterranean coast with a variety of trails to choose from and beautiful nature. We already have climbed the Puchkampana peak, have done a tour around the mountain and today we will explore the Castellets mountain range that is just behind the Puchkampana peak. It is an 11 km long trail that should take us three to four hours to complete. So without further ado, let's get into it. This trail will start a little bit late at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, but we still hope we'll have time to do the whole circle until the sunset. So this is our plan at least, because right now it's like we have time, I think, until 7 p.m. And yeah, we are starting the trail with a little bit of ascent, several hundred meters. Uh, we'll pass through the refugee house and then get to the crossroads. And the whole trail has more or less 500 meters of elevation change, maybe a little bit more up and down. So probably we'll have even more meters to do downhill. But we'll see that, how challenging it's gonna be. And I think it's gonna be enjoyable. You can see right from the start on the sides of the trail lots of signs of wild boars because they like to dig into the ground and we can see lots of holes and moved ground so yeah we can say that there are a lot of wild boars but it is such a luck to see them in the daytime probably they're most active in the nighttime so it's a pity that we can see them but at least we know that they're here somewhere around. Now getting a little bit higher, we already can see the scenic, wonderful views of the mountain range Castellets, where we're heading towards today. So now we'll go up and do like a loop around it, so to get closer to it. And we think we'll go on the other side of it. So you see this wall, vertical wall behind me, and we'll go on the other side of it for some time and then cross it at some point and go downwards. So we think it's gonna be pretty epic and we've never been on that side before. reached the refugee house now and cross the Kami, the Palop, which can lead you back to Finestrat village or straight to the peak. And we're getting close to the important crossroads and from there we'll go to the other side, but we'll show you that in a minute. We reached strategic crossroads after three kilometers or so and from these crossroads we're going to make a loop and turn to the left side. Right, and if you turn to the right side it will lead you straight to the peak 
and this is very popular place like as we said a strategic place which you actually go through in any trail here in the area like in most of the trails yeah. right so this is a very important spot but it's very easy to navigate especially if you have your map at hand and yeah let's go there There are so many flowers now in bloom and on all sides we can hear this buzzing sound of lots of bees and bumblebees that are working hard to collect the nectar from these flowers and bushes and yeah it's like very serene and peaceful atmosphere. Shortly after the crossroads, we reached the mountain bend, so we can see both sides of the mountain range. And we are crossing to the other side now, and we'll be walking there. began to descend down and we got some epic wonderful views on the top of the ridge and now we continue to enjoy them. Behind me you can see again the Aitana peak which is the highest peak in Alicante province of reaching 1200 something meters and this will probably be our next hike that we're gonna do here so stay tuned for that and yeah we'll continue on. astonishing how the temperature differs in the shade and in the sunshine. Now as we turn to walk in the shade I had to get out my headband and definitely feels chillier and cooler even though at the sun it pro it's probably plus 15 degrees right now and the shade we think it can be even plus 10 and we can see even the patches of snow here and there, little ones, but still it is pretty astonishing how the weather and, and temperature can change. We have made it to the gravel car road. We've done the zigzagging downhill, which turned out not to be too extreme nor challenging, which is nice. It was like going quite gently down with just several parts with more inclination. So yeah, but it was just our first uphill and downhill. We're gonna meet another downhill, so now we'll continue to go down for several more kilometers and then we'll face another uphill to do, probably several hundred meters, we don't know, and then we'll proceed to do the downhill again. So this trail it seems to be very hilly with an uneven map, but yeah, uh, more interesting it's going to do it.
have done the major part of the downhill, which was quite steep in the last couple of meters. It was doable still, and now we are facing more flatter part before the uphill starts. But I wanted to point out that there is some crossroads which lead to the different directions, so you need to keep your map at hand or your phone at hand with the GPS because there can be quite tricky, hard to know where to turn because there is no real marking of this trail. You really need to know your direction where you're heading. So yeah, this is just something to keep in mind. Almost done with the downhill part and soon we'll be facing the uphill, last uphill for today. And yeah, we've been loving and enjoying to walk through this deep, very dense forest. So like you have lots of bushes, plants and pine trees and there is no really clear spaces. So it's like very, very enjoyable to walk even and even in summer it can be very nice because of the amount of shade. So yeah, it's just very unique place, as we said, close to the Mediterranean coast which is like very rare to have that, that close to the coast, like such forest with such richness. So yeah, and the only downside I can name is that uh, there would be a lot of difficulties with the wild camping. So if you decide to pitch up a tent, like to bivouac or stealth camping, it can be very, very challenging and hard because of the uneven terrain and you can see like the, the forest is really dense so like, you don't see a patch of the flat ground with no bushes, no spikes and stuff like that so yeah it is important to know but otherwise very very great area to hike through. Now we got to the absolutely magical place, the wonderful viewpoint on the two sides of the mountain range. So on one side we can see the Push Campana in all its glory with some clouds covering it and we think it's, it looks just fantastic. And on the other side, as you could see from our footage, is also like a great, great view of the Aitana range and also some other mountain peaks. So it's 
one of the greatest viewpoints for sure and one of the highlights for today's trail. And now we're gonna continue doing downhill. This is the beginning of February and it is the season of the almond tree bloom. In some places we can see lots of the trees, like the full fields full of blossom and it's just amazing to see here. The seasons are a little bit different than in Pyrenees, so the spring comes sooner and also the winter is more gentle of course and it has its own kind of periods and here uh, and so it's very very beautiful to see and to observe. And this concludes our trail for today. It's already getting dark. The last downhill was a bit challenging, pretty steep in some parts. There were lots of loose rocks. So we'd say that doing this circular trail is better in a clockwise direction, as we did it. This is very picturesque hike with lots of amazing panoramic views. Totally, that can be said better. The views just leave you speechless and they're just to die for, you know. But it's definitely important to have your GPS navigation at hand because, as we said, there's not much marking at all. In some parts, like half of the trail, there were no um, signs, right, yeah. whatsoever. So you really need to know your direction, know where you're heading to. So keeping your phone at hand will be very, very useful. Overall, we can say that this trail is apt for all levels and uh, it is moderate difficulty with just some more challenging parts, as we say, more difficult parts. But most of the trail is moderate and, you know, half of the trail you're going through the forest with the very gentle, you know, paths, somewhere flat, somewhere a little bit gentle uphill and downhill, but nothing too extreme. And so we can recommend it from all our heart to everybody uh, when you visit the region and if you want to get the great views of Puch Campana. Because when you climb to the peak itself, it's also like breathtaking and unforgettable but it's completely different experience seeing it from the side as well from the bird eye view yeah. of the valley you know below with these pine trees with the greenery and also this is just also worth a visit worth doing one extra hike with things specifically for that so we're leaving now give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more hiking trips like this one leave us a comment below tell them what do you think of this hike we'd be glad to hear from you have a great hike everybody and we'll see you next time very soon Bye guys. Bye.